I'm Bill Monroe. Congressman Paul Gosar participated in the grand opening for the Northern Arizona Veterans Resource Center. The center on South Montezuma Street in Prescott helps homeless veterans and keeps veterans from falling into homelessness. Mayor Marlon Kirkendall and Yavapai County Supervisor Tom Thurman were also present for the ribbon cutting. It only took the Prescott City Council eight minutes to complete their Tuesday meeting. Among the items that were voted on were a nearly $50,000 contract with energy savings, heating, and cooling. The contract is for new heating and cooling units at the Antelope Hills Golf Course Clubhouse. Council also approved the purchase of easements for the small water and sewer mains replacement project in the Madison and Miller Valley area. The Yarnall Water Improvement Association received a special Christmas gift. The Phoenix-based Pulis Construction donated $225,000 worth of 6- and 8-inch pipe to help rebuild the water system. The system was severely damaged during last summer's Yarnall Hill fire. The Prescott Valley Town Council held a session to discuss items of concern with area legislators. Among the issues raised included education, state-shared revenue, and highway user revenue funds. Senator Steve Pierce, Representative Karen Fan, and Speaker of the House Andy Tobin participated in the session. Yavapai College Governing Board members approved a 10-year campus master plan. Some highlights of the estimated $104 million plan include construction of a multi-purpose field and event center in Prescott, completion of the Southwest Wine Center in Clarkdale, and sale of the Chino Valley facility. Robert Oliphant cast the opposing vote on this item. A new playground opened that pays tribute to the Ground and Mountain Hotshots. The playground for children ages 2 to 5 is located at Watson Lake Park and it's modeled after a fire truck. It lists the names of the 19 hotshots who were killed fighting the Yarnell Hill fire on June 30th. Yarnell property owners filed notices of claims maintaining that negligence, carelessness, and intentional misconduct were to blame for the loss of their homes in the Yarnell Hill fire. They are seeking more than $33 million from the state, the city of Prescott, Yavapai County, and the Yarnell Fire District. Marsha McGee, mother of fallen hotshot Grant McGee, also amended her earlier claim seeking $12 million from the Yarnell Fire District. The Scottsdale law firm of Knapp and Roberts filed the claims. And hundreds of residents and visitors were in downtown Prescott for the 25th annual Acker Night, where the 130 musical acts performed in over 100 businesses in the downtown area. This event was free, but donations were accepted for performing arts scholarships. I'm Bill Monroe, and that's your KQ&A News Week in Review.